Welcome back watch fans. Today I've got another watch review and a watch that I am selling from my personal collection. This is the the Wenger GST. So I've shown this on a couple of videos before. Um, it's a it's a very nice watch. It's one that I've had for a little bit for a while now. I bought it. I bought it new. It was new old stock. Uh, this watch originally came out in 1996 when Wenger was issuing their was just issuing their their new line of watches. They had just started producing watches, and I'll show a quick video of Wenger so you can get a little bit of history. Um, but it's a uh, it's a very nice watch. Um, I'll go into some of the details, some of the things. Uh, it is their GST line, which if you know, the GST line is their luxury high-end line of watches. The GST line uh, encompasses watches that are anywhere from 795 to uh, over over $6,000. <clears> um, uh, you'll see one of those in the video. But it's a very nice watch. This is one that I've only worn a few times. Uh, I really like it. it. It means a lot to me, but, you know, out with the old and in with the new, and I've been reviewing a lot of watches and buying a lot of watches, and I'm running out of space, and while I love this one, I think it will, it will, it's time to move on for somebody else to enjoy, um, and I have not, <clears throat> I have not heard it at all. It's still in perfect condition, basically like new. I mean, there's no scratch, as you can see, not even the slightest. Uh, I haven't even polished it. I just took it right out as it is. So this this could be, this is almost like new world stock. <clears throat> but before I go any further, uh, please stand by for History of Wenger. Technically pronounced Wenger, the company dates back to the late 1800s. The company got its start in Switzerland in the canton of Jura. This region is overlooked by the Jura Mountains and famous for a number of watchmakers whose names are too many to list. The company's first line of products include industrial cutlery and butcher equipment. Technically known as Paul Bouchette and C, the company would become known as Wenger after Theodore Wenger, a minister who'd served in the U.S. military, returned to Switzerland and joined Paul Bouchette. They quickly worked to produce a new pocket knife supporting a government contract for the Swiss Army. This contract was split with the company Victorinox, thus beginning the long relationship with the company. For nearly 80 years, Victorinox and Wenger both produced Swiss Army knives. Wenger began production of watches in 1988, a year earlier than Victorinox. Things looked promising for both companies, but they were both hit hard in the aftermath of the 9-11 attacks. New airline rules outlined the use of pocket knives, which were common among passengers. Eventually, this took its toll on Wenger, and the company was saved from bankruptcy only when Victorinox purchased them. Eventually, Victorinox became the sole producer of the Swiss Army knife, while, com while both companies continued to produce watches under separate names. While the Wenger brand is known for as an entry-level watch, that's not to say that they haven't produced their share of quality watches. Their most famous high-level watch is the GST Classic, which was a mechanical watch powered by the famous Valjoux 7750 27 Joule Movement. This watch retailed for over 10,000 US dollars. The watch is extremely rare and came in at every conceivable complication you could imagine to include moon phase, day, date, and month, second time zone, and chronograph. Wenger is truly an underrated brand, and I really cannot emphasize this enough. They produce watches that range from 100 in today's US dollars all the way to 2000 for their high-end watches. Most of the watches I will review from this company will be in the sub-500 range. For the price point, you absolutely get a substantial value, and this watch is no exception. All right, so now that you've had the opportunity to uh, watch the video, uh, we'll get right back into the watch. This is a watch that I bought. Um, I bought it fairly new. It was new old stock. Uh, I have actually opened it up and serviced it. Um, I did not disassemble the movement because I really didn't need to. The watch was basically brand new. Uh, I just checked it, make sure I replaced the seals in here because... They were still okay, but I, I, I buy all my own seals. Um, I can show you. They come in little packs like this. Uh, I serviced it maybe a few months ago. But, you know, I, I usually buy that, and then I re-grease it. I use Seiko watertight grease. Uh, really good stuff. I put the seals 
in in these things to give it uh, better water resistance. I think <clears throat> this probably says it's like 5 ATM. Yeah, 5 ATM, but uh, I would guarantee to you um, 5 ATM is good for is good for uh, basic swimming and uh, also shower and doing the dishes, but uh, I, I guarantee to you that you could probably do uh, you could do some snorkeling in this. It's it's really well. There's two seals in it, one in the shaft and uh, one also uh, at the end of the crown. Um, you can see <clears throat> it also has a, a crown tube, so it it works really well. Um, seals quite quite good. Um, this has a really nice movement into it, and I'll start to show some some pictures to kind of give you an idea. Uh, this is the ETA, the Swiss ETA 2824 2 movement. Uh, the movement was designed in the early 80s, I think 1982 83. I'll put some factoids at the bottom there. There are technically four versions of this movement, really three versions, but the fourth is the highest level and is one that is certified by the watchmaker and actually signed. Uh, version one is um, the least expensive version of these. Version 2 is a slightly nicer uh, version, <clears throat> and version 3 has Inca block as opposed to ETA block. Now the difference is, you see the little jewel that you can see at the top of the balance wheel? That is an e ETA block, but they came with, at least I'm pretty sure, yeah that's ETA block. But you could get them with Inca block, which is just a little bit more, I guess they pay some royalties or something. Uh, for it. Uh, I, I don't quite understand why that makes a difference, <clears throat> but the accuracy is, is a little bit better. Um, Wenger doesn't really put a lot of stock into the accuracy of these watches, but they're quite good. Um, they give themselves a variance of about 45 seconds per day, uh, either gain or loss, but quite honestly, this is probably within two to three seconds. Um, of accuracy, they they are actually quite good. But at the time, there was there's really no competing with uh, with quartz, and so when they would advertise these, they would simply just uh, um, give themselves sort of that out. Um, but this is the highest version of the uh, Wenger Sack watch, which Sack stands for Swiss Army Knife. Um, there's several other versions of this watch, and I'll show you. Uh, this is the original quartz version which i have my bracelet i lost the end link this is the one that my parents gave me this is a gmt it does has a 24 hour gmt arm that most people miss and it gives you additional 24 hour uh basically dual time Grinch mean time uh, this is a quartz watch this is one that i wore pretty much doing everything whether i was uh, at the computer programming or pulling an engine block from the junkyard for a big muscle car whatever it was i wore this uh, later at the time, they produced a cheaper version, uh, which is this, just as a very simple face. I just wear this when I'm just working in the yard. They have uh, the last version of this, which they discontinued in 2007, I believe, was the last time they issued this, was this version right here, um, which is a very nice version, and I, I'm keeping this, but I, I may also sell this at some point, too. And then they also had a quartz chronograph one, which has an ETA movement as well. Um, and it works works pretty good. Um, it works decent. Um, I think I need to work on this watch. I may have to replace the movement because I can't get the dials to go back even after doing the setting. But this is the most expensive one because it has the ETA movement. Uh, very nice watch. Um, really a fan of it. But again, I have to move it along. It's a it's a Speedle genuine leather strap, signed buckle. I've got all the original packaging, and here they talk about the Swiss, uh, the SAC watch collection, which basically talks about all the different versions that I just showed you. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm kind of of the impression that while I really like having this watch, I think I really liked having it. I just like the experience of, of owning it at least at one point, but I like experiencing all the different watches, and for me, it's about time to, to move it on to somebody else. Um, I enjoyed it. It is an expensive watch, so it's not going to be cheap when I put it up. 
but hopefully somebody else will be able to enjoy it as much as I have. I've, again, I've only worn it a few times. Uh, it's basically new, as you can see. Um, there's no scratches, and I haven't even really paused it, but I'll take care of that. I have serviced it, though. Um, I cleaned, uh, I removed the balance and, and re-oiled it. Um, I don't think the watch really needed to be completely disassembled since it was basically brand new, and it's been sitting for most of the time, but I did add just a, a dab of, of the Swiss, Swiss oil. Where do I have it? I used the Mebus, Mebus oil, and I used my boilers. Uh, I always use the red one for this because you need very little. But um, perfect watch, excellent condition. Um, this is truly a, uh, a benchmark for Wenger. This was their nicest watch that they sold at the time uh, in the, the mid-level category. They did have one that was just absolutely exceptional. But that was like a ten thousand dollar watch, and you would have seen that in the uh, the video that I posted. So if you uh, like this watch, it will be for sale. The link is in the link description is in the video description. Uh, I appreciate any likes, and if you have any comments about this, please leave them below. And I really appreciate uh, subscribe. Um, let me know if there's anything you'd like me to review, or you have any questions about any of the other watches. Uh, please let me know. Thank you very much.